Hi Church, Joel Weaver here from North Location. Today I want to share a little thought called Do Something. Isaiah 43, 16 to 19 says this. This is what the Lord says. He who made a way through the sea, a path through the mighty waters, drew out the chariots and horses, the army and reinforcements together, and they lay there, never to rise again, extinguished, snuffed out like a wick. Forget the former things, do not dwell on the past, See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. Uh, Becky and I have recently been studying about faith, what faith looks like, what faith needs and how faith works its way out in our everyday, in our everyday life. Um, the passage above speaks of an active Christian faith. When I first met Becky, she didn't instantly become my wife. Unfortunately, we journeyed through a process of getting to know each other, spending time with each other, learning about each other. It wasn't enough to just for me to just have an opinion about Becky or even have good intention towards a potential relationship. What it needed was action. It needed somebody to make a move. Our relationship status changed because of the action we took. Without action, there was no relationship. The exact same is true with God. The Bible teaches that he longs to bless us with every good thing. However, he doesn't just do this. Instead, he adds his supernatural to our natural when we choose to step out in faith. We have to first do something in the natural in order for God to do something in the supernatural and move powerfully. When the Israelites were in the wilderness, God provided for their every need. Their sandals didn't wear out. Fresh manna appeared on the floor every day to feed them. But when they stepped into the promised land, everything changed because they were called to be contributors and not just commentators. In the promised land, they had to work the land to produce a crop to feed their families. Their action became the vehicle to the blessing because they were now living in their miracle. God can only add his supernatural to your action. Moses had to raise his staff in order for God to part the Red Sea. The woman with the issue of blood had to touch the hem of Jesus' garment to find a healing. Jesus had to die on the cross for redemption to be realised. He can't add his supernatural to our opinion, nor can he pin the miraculous to your good intention. Too often, all we're willing to give is our opinion. And if we're only willing to give opinion, then don't be surprised when we don't experience the supernatural power of God in our lives. Jesus said, I only do that which I see my father doing. In other words, I'm here to bring heaven to earth. In faith, my natural exploits become the vehicle for his supernatural power. My natural, his supernatural. So today, let's not be those who shrink back, but instead let's do something that will demonstrate our extraordinary God. We walk by faith and not by sight, it says in 2 Corinthians 5 verse 7. Let's allow God to move in our daily walk. Bring your whole tithe into the storehouse, says Malachi 3.10. Let's allow God to work through our finances as we faithfully give. And see, I am doing a new thing, says Isaiah 43.19. Let's be a people with eyes of faith who get on board with what God is doing today. You are amazing, church. Let's bless somebody today through what we do. Have a great day.